Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Chuni High School for Boys Ace Award Ceremony for 2020. My name is Hansa Rahman and I am the head boy at Chuni High School for Boys. Good evening everyone and welcome to our Ace Awards. My name is Shao Khan and I am the deputy head boy here at Chuni High School for Boys. Hello everyone, I'm Ahmed and I'm also a deputy head boy here at Chuni and together we will be your hosts with this, our first ever remote Ace Award Ceremony. You know guys, in years to come, we can say that we were the first to lead such a remote ceremony. True Hamza, but I must admit, I also hope it's the last. This period of lockdown has been really weird and it is much better in school where we can see everyone's faces and have an opportunity to celebrate face to face, don't you think? Yeah, I agree. But this is a great second best. Well, before we start, I would like to ask everyone to put their phones on silent. The show is about to begin. Uh, Shaud, we don't need to say that this year. I know, I'm only joking, but it is a bit of an unusual circumstance, don't you think? Anyway, it's a great honour being here for the best, in my opinion, the best awards of the year. I totally agree, it's a massive honour. Well, let's start today's ceremony by inviting our very own head teacher, Mr Connor, to formally open today's awards and welcome our guest speaker, Mr Nawaz. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. And can I say a very big welcome to everybody who's joining us for our annual ACE Award ceremony. What a wonderful occasion it is. Now, I'm delighted today to introduce our guest speaker, Mr. Shahid Nawaz, a real Luton success story, Luton born and bred, a successful businessman, the director of A's, a really important and big consultancy. And we are really thrilled that he's agreed to share some thoughts with us today. Uh, and without further ado, I would like to introduce and welcome Mr. Shahid Nawaz. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Connor, for the introduction and hello all. My name is Shahid Nawaz and I'm a director of Hayes, a FTSE 250 business with 9,000 employees and 250 offices in over 30 countries around the world. Today, your teachers have very kindly invited me to share my thoughts on what it takes to be successful in the modern world. As I celebrate my 20 year anniversary of working at Hayes, it's been a natural time for me to reflect on the last two decades and reflect on my own journey. In doing so, I realized that not only has the world changed immeasurably since I left school and entered work, but that my definition of success has changed along with it. If you had asked me what I thought success was when I was leaving school, I can, I can imagine that my answer would have been to have a great big house, have a sports car in the driveway, I want to be a lawyer by the way, uh, and lots of other material things that go with it. Ask me again now, and I might give you a very different answer, particularly in light of all the change that we've seen in the last three, four months in the world. And that's my first point. Success means different things to all of us. Whether it's achieving financial success, having a great family, simply being happy, or all of the above, the truth is that it won't happen by chance. Ask anyone that's been successful in any walk of life and they will tell you it's something that had to be worked at with dedication and persistence. And it usually didn't happen overnight. So I'd like to focus on just some of the factors that are in your control. And I'd start with defining what success means to you. What does success look like to you now? What does it look like five years from now and 10 years from now? Picture that, whatever it looks like, I promise you that it won't land in your lap without effort and hard work. For me, hard work means turning up every single day and giving it my all. Uh, lots of people can work hard for a short period of time, but real success demands commitment. In the words of Thomas Edison, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Furthermore, success is rarely a solo feat. As you make your way through school and working life, your success will inextricably be linked to others around you. Hence, it's critical that you embrace the idea of being part of a team and working well with others. Your job is not only to succeed yourself, but to take others with you. The chances are you'll get to your destination quicker and you'll enjoy the journey a lot more. As you pursue success in your life, it's also important to remember that through it all, you must act with integrity. I'm really proud to be able to look back at my 20 years at Hayes and think that along the way, every decision I've made has been the right one. I may have, it may have gone my way, it may have not, but I've always done the right thing. And I think it's important that you also, as you make your way through life, can hold your head high and say that I acted in the right way. So never forget that integrity should be at the heart of everything you do. Another feature of success that you may wish to consider is what you return to your community and society at large. Personal success is all well and good, but as you make your way through life, you'll have lots of opportunities to give back. 
just as others have helped you in your life to this point, you'll have the opportunity to give back to the wider community. And it's something that you must take when it arises. Ultimately, if I was to define success, for me, it would be making the most of every single drop of ability that you have and not wasting a shred of it. Your job is to be the very best version of yourself that you can be, whether that's at school or with your family or in society, just the world in general. And as you take in what's been said so far, I'd ask you to remember one thing. The number one ingredient in that success is self-belief. You have to believe in your own abilities and back yourself when others might not. Right now, you're really fortunate. You're in an environment where everyone is supporting you and willing you to succeed. But you will go through times in life when it will be tougher. And it is then that that self-belief in your abilities will carry you through. So with that, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to listen to me. And I'd like to conclude by sharing my favourite sports quote that I think sums up everything that came before it. Gentlemen, we will chase perfection and we will chase it relentlessly, knowing all the while that we can never attain it. But along the way, we shall catch excellence. Words of Vince Lombardi, one of the greatest football coaches ever, American football coaches ever. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for those very thought-provoking words. The ACE Awards are our annual celebration of outstanding performances and achievements and a chance for us to look back at some of our successes throughout the year. Throughout the ceremony, we will highlight and celebrate the successes and achievements of various students for their outstanding contributions, for maintaining high levels of excellence and for their successes both inside and outside of the classroom. All students will receive their certificates through the post this year and then receive their trophies when they return to school the next academic year in September. Our first award is the Outstanding Achievement Award. Students can receive achievement points for excellence both in and out of the classroom. With this award, we, can, we will acknowledge the top eight students in each house who have accumulated the most achievement points throughout the year. So to begin with, we would like to invite Mr Ali, Head of Ackman House, to announce those students who have had the most amount of achievement points this year in Ackman House. Thank you, Shahad. The following students have shown outstanding commitment this academic year, going above and beyond in all their lessons and around school. These students have gained the uh, most achievement points in Ackerman House. From Year 7, in Ackerman 1, we have Ayan, and in Ackerman 5, we have Jaden. From Year 8, in Ackerman 3, we have Umer, and in Ackerman 6, we have Faris. Um, in Year 9, from Ackerman 8, we have Adam Ibrahim, and in Ackerman 8 also, we have Benjamin. In year 10, we, from Ackerman 8, we have Aman, and in Ackerman 6, we have Hamza. Big well done to all the students. Keep the fantastic work that you're doing up. We now move on to the achievement points for Aman House. So please, Mr. Shabi, tell us who has won from Aman. Thank you very much, Hamza. The following students have shown outstanding commitment this academic year by going above and beyond in their lessons and around school. These students have gained the most achievement points in Aman House. From Year 7, Shujanshan, he was in E5, and Hamid in E1. From Year 8, Nathan in E5, and Issa in E3. From Year 9, Dean in E3, and Azan in E5. And in Year 10, Itishan in E6, and Ashta in E1. Thank you, and well done to the gentlemen. Thank you, Mr Shafi, and well done to all of you for your achievements. Can we please call on the head of Foss House next, Mr Cook? to present the Foss House winners. Thank you, Ahmed. The following students have shown outstanding commitment this academic year by going above and beyond in their lessons and around the school. These students have gained the most achievement points in Foss House. From Year 7, Hasna in Foss 5 and Hamza in Foss 1. From Year 8, Arian in Foss 5 and Abdullah in FOS 3. From Year 9, Hakim in FOS 4 and Adam in FOS 7. And from Year 10, Hamza in FOS 4 and Ibrahim in FOS 1. Well done, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. And finally, it's Watling House and Mr Lois's turn to present his winners. Thank you, Hamza. The following students have shown outstanding commitment this academic year by going above and beyond in their lessons and around school. These students have gained the most achievement points in Watling House. In Year 7, we have Tala from Watling 4 and Ishmael from Watling 7. In Year 8, we have Alvin from Watling 8 and Mohammed from Watling 7. In Year 9, we have Rafi from Watling 1 and Asim from Watling 4. And finally, in Year 10, we have Amjad from Watling 8 
and Raheem from Watling Six. Well done, gentlemen. Congratulations to all of the students who have won an Outstanding Achievement Award this year. You are a huge asset to the school and your excellent behaviour rep really represents what it means to be a five star junior student. You know, Ahmed, I really like the way we celebrate achievements in assembly every week. It really gives us motivation to work, doesn't it? Yeah, I agree. The competition between the houses this year has been really close. We now move on to the Subject Based Awards for this evening. These awards identify and recognise students' hard work, talent and incredible attitude towards each subject. The first subject award is the Keith Herring Award for Art. And if you don't know already, you should definitely follow C21 Art on Twitter, which showcases all the amazing work produced by students and teachers alike. We would like to call up Miss Dov to present these awards. Thank you, Hamza. My nomination for Key Stage 3 is Alvin for his excellent work during the art rotation. And for Key Stage 4, it is Abade for his phenomenal work during the Sea Life and Fantastic and Strange project. Thank you, Miss. Our next award is known as the James Dyson Award for Business Studies. We would like to call Miss Zulfikar, Head of Business, to tell us about her winners. Thank you, Shout. It's my pleasure to announce that the winner of the Business Studies Award for Key Stage 4 goes to Ibrahim in 11CR. Ibrahim, throughout the whole of the year, has been working exceptionally well and constantly strives to achieve perfection. His work has always been to the highest standard and he has been an absolute pleasure to teach. Well done, Ibrahim. Thank you, Miss. Our next subject award recognises outstanding effort in computer science lessons. The Charles Babbage Award is presented by Mr. Palmer the mentor for the student executives and the assistant head teacher here at Chorney. Thank you, Hamza. I have two Key Stage 4 winners for the Charles Babbage Award. My first winner of this award is Hassan from Year 11. Hassan has worked extremely hard and strive to be at the top in most of his assessment throughout the year. He is a well-mannered student who has a lot of respect for his teachers. My second award goes to Uzair from Year 11. Uzair understands the importance of education and strives to be the best. There was always a healthy competition between Uzair and Hassan, and I'm glad that it finally paid off. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Moving away from subject-based awards briefly, our next award celebrates those students who always go above and beyond outside of the classroom. These boys have contributed to the wider side of school life and do more than expected of them. These are our Student Leaders of the Year and Head of House Awards for Ackman House. Once again, I would like to invite Mr. Ali, the Head of Ackman House, to announce his winners. Thank you, Ahmed. I'm pr proud to present the Ackerman Student Leader of the Year Award for Year 7 goes to Jaden in Ackerman 5. Jade has made an excellent start to Shawnee High School for Boys. His contribution to form has been excellent and has been an instrumental figure in the Reading Aloud project. As well as this, he's done some fantastic work with the Shawnee Green project. An example for all students to follow. Well done, Jade. Our student leader for Year 8 is Ume Madhya in Ackerman 3. Ume has been one of the most outstanding students across our house ever since he joined in Year 7. He has consistently gained the most achievement points across the whole school, which is a credit to the hard work that he does in all his lessons. He has grown in confidence and always greets us with a nice, strong handshake and a good smile. It has been fantastic to see Ume's growing growth in confidence and as a person in the last few years. And we really look forward to him developing in the next three years at Shawnee High School for Boys. Keep it up, Ume. Our student leader for Year 9 is Adam in Ackerman 8. Adam is a quiet student but has always worked really hard and has been a great asset to Ackerman House. He always competes in house sports and has been doing some fantastic work with the student boys with Mr Richards. A real, true leader. Finally, I'm proud to announce that our winner for Year 10 Student Leader of the Year is Umar in Ackerman 4. It's fair to say that Umar didn't have the best of starts to his uh, time at Shawnee High School for Boys. However, he's developed so much as a person and grown as a young adult over the past few years. Umar is one of the most respectful and polite students in Ackerman House and is always willing to help others and is a confident and mature figure in the house. It's been a pleasure to see this turnaround in behaviour and we look forward to him going, in, going into Year 11 and growing even more as a Shawnee gentleman. 
Moving on to the Head of House Award. From Year 7, I've nominated Hamza in a Ackerman 4. Hamza has been an excellent role model in form time and is a true Tawny gentleman. He's always consistent in all areas of school life. We're really proud to have Hamza in our house and we look forward to what he can do in the future. Well done Hamza and keep up the fantastic attitude that you have. Moving on to the award for the Year 8 Head of House Award. I've nominated Khalid from Ackerman 5, who is a very polite young gentleman who has been very engaged throughout the year. While in lockdown, he's engaged fantastically with the work set, always completing his work to the best of his ability and engaging with the extracurricular tasks that have been set. Khalid is a really hard and working and motivated student and this is clear from all of his teachers. Excellent work Khalid, please keep it up. Our Year 9 award goes to Farsnal in Ackerman 5. Farsnal is the ideal Chawani student. He's always willing to help, has a great team spirit and is a great asset to his form and the school as a whole. He's always involved in both sporting and academic competitions for the house and this year he's taken on the role as house captain. Alongside Hussein and Zofin, they have done a fantastic job in representing the house. A student executive in the making for sure. Well done Fazl. Finally, our year 10 award goes to Aman. Aman is one of our new student executives in Ackerman 6. He is the ideal role model for younger students to look up to. He was a student who was very quiet in the younger years but has grown as a confident leader of Ackerman House. In form and around the school, is always willing to help others and be an older brother or an older sibling for the younger students. Aman is an excellent ambassador for Ackerman House and we're really lucky to have him as a student executive. Keep up the good work you're doing, Aman. Thank you, sir. We return to the subjects and the turn of Miss Quick, Head of English, to present the Shakespeare's Award for Achievements in English and the Reading Laureate. Thank you, Hamza. The winner of the Key Stage 3 Shakespeare Award is Haida in Year 8, FOSS 5. Haida is a very quiet pupil who is resilient and works very, very hard. He has gone above and beyond with all his remote learning during the lockdown period. Miss Parkins and the whole English department are exceptionally proud of you. The Key Stage 4 Award was a difficult decision as there were a number of particularly amazing students in this cohort, but this student just pipped them to the post. Wasi in Year 11 is one of the most dedicated students in his year group and as a result has made tremendous progress in both language and literature and has greatly exceeded his target grades. Despite being quite a quiet pupil, Wasi has shown true resilience and dedication to his learning. Wasi would constantly revisit and redraft work, often hassling me after every lesson to mark his latest version so he could receive immediate feedback. We are all so proud of you and wish you well for the future where we know you will continue to achieve great things. The Key Stage 3 Reading Award goes to Kwame in Year 7. Kwame is a fantastic student who really captures the school's ethos of reading. In six months, this true five-star Chawney learner improved his reading age by 11 months. Kwame would spend every spare moment and each break time in the library engrossed in a book. Mr Connor would definitely be proud of this young man and we are all so proud of you too and look forward to following your reading adventure in the future. Dean in Year 11 has always been a privilege to teach and has always shown superb dedication to learning. Dean has always been a key reader and often talks to members of staff about his current literature. As a result of this wider reading and independent learning, Dean has secured exceptional progress within both his language and literature GCSEs and has greatly exceeded his target levels. Dr Evans in particular is so proud of Dean's achievements and is always assuring us and Dean that he will go on to achieve great things. Well done. Well done to all our winners. Speaking of reading, have you guys heard any of the audiobooks read by our Tony teachers on this Tony YouTube channel? If you haven't, check it out. Yeah, we've had Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy read by Mr May. Mrs Quick herself is reading To Kill a Mockingbird, 1984 read by Mr Cross. The Hound of the Backersville read by Miss Mohammed. And Miss Firminger has been reading Percy Jackson. They're all banging books, I can't lie. Uh, remember our audience, Hans, uh... Um, I think what Hamza was meant to say is they're wonderful, magnificent, exquisite, superlative. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry everyone. I think we got the idea shattered. Alright guys, calm down. We would now like to invite Mr Donovan as Head of Photography to present his awards for the David Bailey Award.
Thank you, Ahmed. So, the winner of the um, award for photography at Key Stage 3 goes to Ibrahim. Ibrahim has really impressed me with his overall creativity, inventiveness and growing technical abilities. He has proven himself to be a true Chorney gentleman and has um, supported many of his peers um, over his time with me. I'm really looking forward to teaching him further next year in Key Stage 4. The winner of the David Bailey Award for Photography at Key Stage 4 goes to Dean. So Dean has been one of the most hardworking and dedicated students I have ever taught. Despite his personal disadvantages, Dean has constantly striven to make progress. He's been fearless in his creativity and relentlessly been a polite, caring individual who personifies what it is to be a Chorney gentleman at all times. I have watched Dean grow both as a person and as a young photographer over the past three years. From counting down for each photograph he took to being an independent young man as seen during his recent trip to Amsterdam this year. Dean is a true Chorney success story and will be greatly missed by myself and all those who have supported him throughout his years at Chorney. I wish him all the very best for his future. Thank you, sir, and well done, boys. You know, I always thought I fought Buffalo. Uh, I'm not so sure about that, Sharon, but I'd guess a few hundred out there are forming their opinions right about now. I, I don't really know what to say. Um, uh, moving on. Now is the perfect time for a short break of Kind Cock Fi. We are going to show you our final installment of We Miss You videos, created by Mr. Palmer and many of our teachers and our new IT technician, Mr. Reese. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> friend Will made their way to the Globe Theatre together, delighting the people of London town and filling their hearts with pride. And that's the end of Will's Quill. It's just not the same without you gentlemen. Right gentlemen, we are now moving on to our fix it time. Please can we make sure we get our green pens and to make sure we're looking at our steps to success. We have our success criteria on the table. Please make sure that you are writing very prescriptively about what went well, even better. Um, Aram, can you please stop swinging on your chair? So you see how much we're all missing you gentlemen, we just can't wait for you to come back and hopefully that'll be fairly soon now. Well, I didn't think I would ever miss school and actual face-to-face -face lessons as much as I do right now. I know right, I didn't think we'd miss, I'd miss writing those ready to learns.
Our next award is from the world of technology. So to present the Eisenbart Kingdom Brunel Award for engineering, can we please ask Mr. Billington to come up and present the awards. Okay, thank you Hamza. So the first award in Keisha's three goes to Nathan in year eight. And Nathan's probably sitting at home wondering why he's getting this award, having actually not done the subject this year in year eight due to the lockdown. Now it's because of his quality of work that's produced during the lockdown period and the frequency and the energy put into it that really me and Mr. Cleek have decided that you are the worthy winner for Keisha's three. So well done Nathan. The Keisha's four award goes to Ibrahim in year 11. Throughout the course, he has been exceptionally hardworking. He's a very talented, bright young man and just a joy to teach. In fact, one of my favourite students to teach in school. Now, I shouldn't really say that, but he is one of those students that every time I see him in my lesson, I'm just thankful that he is the way he is. And he's done, worked so hard throughout the year. He's produced some excellent work that has achieved some really strong results at GCSE. So the winner, the worthy winner for my uh, Kisses 4 award goes to Ibrahim in Thank you. The next award is the Martin Lewis Award, which is for the subject of life skills. Thank you, Ahmed. Um, so on to the winners. The winner for Year 7 Life Skills is Jaden from A5. Jaden has consistently produced excellent work in life skills, both in school and during home learning. In lessons, his participation in discussion is confident, he offers views and also asks lots of questions. During home learning, he has displayed impressive attitudes towards independent learning and producing work of very high quality. And our next winner for year eight is Awais from E6. Awais has also shown an impressive attitude towards his learning and his life skills. His home learning project showed a lot of thought, effort and design. We next have some subject-based awards for humanities and we'd like to call Mr. Oweki, Head of Geography. Sir? Thank you so much, Shao, for that excellent introduction. Um, this award goes to Shahir in year 7 for his excellent and dedicated work throughout the lockdown period. You have been absolutely wonderful in submitting homework on time and producing work that is to a very, very high standard. And that shows that your start of geography has been on a very, very good setting. Well done. And this award goes to a student that has, from year 9, when he started doing geography, up till now, has shown an immense improvement, both in the quality of work produced, his excellent student leadership skills, and being able to not only submit work on time, but also attempt even to do beyond what has been expected. And this is to Zayn in year 10. This award is truly well deserving of you. Well done. We would like to now call on Ms. Eftimiades, Head of History, to present the Mary Sequel Awards. Thank you, Hamza. This year I am excited to announce the winner of the Mary Sequel Award for History. This year's winner for the Key Stage 3 Award is Yasin. Yasin gives an exceptional effort in every lesson and is supportive of other students. His polite nature and love of history really exemplifies what it means to be a Choli gentleman in history lesson. Well done, Yasin. This year's winner of the Key Stage 4 Award is Amir. This year, we really struggled to pick a Key Stage 4 winner from Year 11 because there were too many to choose from. However, Amir really stuck out from everyone else. Throughout his last three years, Amir has shown resilience and a work ethic that's absolutely inspiring. His hard work and positive attitude helped him, develop, helped him to develop into the Cholney gentleman that you see today, and I am so proud of him. Well done, and best of luck to the future. Next, we have the Alan Turing Award for ICT. Can I please call Ms. Cara? to present the winners for Key Stage 3 and Mr. Ahmed, the head of the computing department here at Chorney, to present Key Stage 4 winners, please. Thank you, Ahmed. It gives me great pleasure to announce the Key Stage 3 Alan Turing Award, which goes to Ryan from Year 8. Ryan is a very polite, respectful and hardworking student who has always given his best. Thank you. Thank you, Ahmed. It gives me a great pleasure to announce the Alan Turing Award for Key Stage 4 to Hudefa in Year 11. Hudefa has always been a very respectful, polite and hard-working young gentleman who has proven his worth above and beyond in ICT. Thank you. There are so many awards and achievements. It's amazing, huh? 
What a fantastic day! We haven't finished yet, Sean. Our next awards are for Student Leadership and the Head of House Awards for the students in Irvine House and we once again invite Mr Shafi to announce the winners of these extremely prestigious awards. Thank you Hamza. My nominations for Student Leaders are in Year 7, Janaid from E6, who's an incredibly hard working young man. I was actually privileged enough to teach um, Janaid briefly when he was in Year 7. Since then, all of his teachers have told me what an absolute pleasure he is to teach and how he supports other students in the classroom. This is a real um, student leader. In year eight is Ibrahim from E7, who's been working exceptionally hard since lockdown uh, began. He's shown great maturity and his ability to motivate himself, which is typical of how Ibrahim is in lesson. In year nine, we have Hudayfa from E4. Hudayfa has been an absolute credit to himself and his form. Ms. Kazi is very proud of the way he supports literacy in full time by engaging and leading Really a loud project, which is a really valuable thing. From year 10 is Harith in E8. Harith has been an amazing leader in the house over the past year. He's been a great support to me as the head of house by stepping into these uh, assemblies, often very last minute and on more than one occasion. This also extends into the classroom where Harith is quickly becoming a role model to his peers through his work ethic, which has improved so much over the past few years. Next up, we have the head of house awards. And from me in year 7 is Hamid in E1. Since joining Chorney High School for Boys, Hamid has embodied the very ethos of being a Chorney gentleman. He's always polite, well presented and works incredibly hard. As time has gone on, Hamid has shown himself to be a role model to his peers and to students older than himself. In year 8 is Zubair from E7. He's been working incredibly hard recently. Over the past two years, he has really matured into a true Chorney gentleman. He's full of personality and he's making a real concerted effort to improve across school. Well done Zubair. In year 9 is Ertazar in E1, who's an exceptional young man. He's always incredibly polite and a total gentleman. He's a testament to how hard work really pays off with some amazing results in maths and in badminton. And from year 10 in E3, um, he's been specially requested by Mr. Rasool, who's his form tutor. Uh, Mr. Rasool has been very impressed by the way that, that Subhan works and the intense and immense uh, resiliency shown during lockdown. We're both very impressed by how well mannered Subhan is and the great character he shows around school. He's a true role model. So well done to all of those young men. Thank you, Mr. Shafi, and a massive congratulations to all of the winners from Berman. Moving on to maths, mathematics is a core subject of the national curriculum and it is therefore an essential subject for all of our futures. It's a chance for our fantastic head of maths, Ms. Wiggle, to present the Archimedes Award for Mathematics. Thank you, Hamid. The Archimedes Award for Kiste 3 in Mathematics goes to Eunice in Year 8. Eunice is a student who consistently works hard. He has completed all his home learning assignments in an outstanding standard. Superb attitude to learning. Well done, Eunice. We are giving out two awards in Stage 4. The first Archimedes Award in Stage 4 goes to Arta in Year 9. Arta has consistently worked hard throughout the year. He is always the first to complete his home learning assignments to a very high standard. His effort, attitude and behaviour are truly inspiring. Well done, Atta. The second award goes to Itiza in Year 9. Over the years, Itiza has shown great interest and enthusiasm in the study of mathematics and has proven to have excellent independent study skills. He has accelerated his knowledge at a very fast pace and has managed to achieve a level 9 in the 11 mock exams. His efforts are truly inspiring and we are very pleased. Well done, Itiza. Très bon, très bon, c'est magnifique! Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, sorry, maybe I'm getting slightly ahead of myself. What I was meant to say was, the Grand Prix d'Excellence Award is the French Subject Award. I would like, now like to call upon Miss Wu, Head of the French Department, to announce her winners. Thank you, Shout. The Key Stage 3 French Award is being awarded to Essen in Year 8. Essen has demonstrated determination and commitment throughout his French learning journey. His enthusiasm is contagious and his willingness to learn is evident in his participation and his book. He goes above and beyond to better his understanding and I'm very proud to be his teacher. Congratulations Essen. The Key Stage 4 French Award is being awarded to Adib in Year 11. Adib's work ethic is exceptional, consistent and conscientious. He has worked hard to achieve his very best 
He has dedicated a lot of time to his French studies and has demonstrated great resilience. He is truly an exceptional ambassador for the French department. Congratulations, Adib. Thank you, miss. You know, guys, I won that award last year. I'm so proud of myself. Ah, oh, so that's where you got your lingo from. We would now like to turn to the awards for student leadership and the head of house awards for FOSS and Mr. Cook again, sir. Thank you, Hamza. I'd now like to recognise the following boys for fantastic student leadership this year. From year seven, Ryan in FOSS 3. Ryan has settled into life at Chilney High School for Boys superbly and has quickly shown some excellent potential in leadership roles. He has begun to establish himself as the house sports captain for year seven, helping to organise teams for inter-house events. Ryan is a fantastic young man with a bright future ahead of him. From year eight, Ayan in FOSS 3. Since joining Chorney, Ayan has shown fantastic leadership skills in everything he does. He has always been keen to support parents' evenings and open evenings, being a fantastic role model for the school. This year, Ayan has held the roles of class prefect and house sports captain and has helped organise and run inter-house competitions. He has also played a huge role in extracurricular activities, representing the school in an impeccable way, showing superb leadership skills. From year nine, Wajahat in FOSS 5. Wajahat began the year as a house sports captain and was instrumental in organising teams for the inter-house competitions. He took on this role with great pride in the house and was extremely reliable to all times. More recently, Wajahat has undertaken a senior house captain role and has supported in the delivery of house assemblies, developing his skills in communication. Wajahat has been a brilliant five-star Chorney leader this year. From year 10, Mario in FOSS 5. Mario this year has undertaken the role of senior house captain for FOSS House. Mario has been a fantastic role model for younger students within the house, developing his articulation and organisational skills in preparing and leading house assemblies. Mario has also held the position of house sports captain and has helped organise and run the inter-house sports competitions for all year groups, showing superb characteristics of a five-star Chorney leader. It's now with great pleasure, I'd like to recognise the boys that have won this year's Head of House Awards. From Year 7, Hasnat in FOSS 5. Hasnat has settled fantastically into life at Chorley High School for Boys. He's performed superbly well across a range of subjects and is a true Chorley learner. Hasnat's commitment to independent learning during lockdown has been incredible and this has been recognised by several members of staff. From Year 8, Abdullah in FOSS 3. Abdullah has been an excellent role model for many other students across all his subjects this year. This commitment to learning has continued throughout lockdown and has received high praise from a number of staff. Abdullah has been keen to go above and beyond to help the school and house during parents' evening and open evenings. Abdullah is a fantastic five-star Chorney student. From Year 9, Hassan from FOSS 5. Hassan this year has undertaken the role of a senior house captain for Foss House. Hassan has been a fantastic role model for the younger students within our house, developing his articulation and organisation skills in preparing and leading our house assemblies. He has been keen to always support the school in any way possible, being of particular use at parents' evenings and open evenings as a true Chorney ambassador. From Year 10, Hansler in Foss 3. Hansler has been an integral part of FOSS House as well as the student executive body this year. Hansler has developed into a role model to lots of younger students within the house. He has consistently demonstrated outstanding attitude and effort levels in all of his lessons. Well done gentlemen. Next we have the awards for PE. We have two different awards from the world of sport. We have the Muhammad Ali Award which is awarded for achievements in lessons and the Victor Ludrum Award which is for the overall sports representative of the year. The, the Muhammad Ali Award for Key Stage 3 goes to Dinos in Year 7 from W6. Dinos has been a true 5 star Chorney learner in his PE lessons this year. He always gives 100% effort and is keen to learn and develop new skills. He is also fantastic at supporting other boys within his class to improve their performances with his coaching skills in PE. 
His support for other students' learning is something we deeply value in PE and we look forward to seeing him develop his leadership further throughout his time here. From Key Stage 4, we have Jarhead in Year 10 from W6. Jarhead has consistently gone above and beyond in his PE lessons this year to ensure his work is completed to the best of his ability. He demonstrates what it is to be a true Chorney learner. He is proactive in seeking to improve his PE work consistently while asking Mr C for feedback on his work he submits and his attitude and work ethic has continued since school closure. I'm now going to hand over to Mr Cook who's going to present the Victor Ladora Award. Thank you Mr Lowerson. It's with great pleasure that I've been asked to present the Victor Ladora Awards for sport. The winners are in year seven Harris from Watlin 8. Harris has been a consistently outstanding member of the year seven rugby team this year. He is a strong runner with the ball and a fearless tackler in defence and leads by example in every match, showing the true Chorley spirit. He has demonstrated fantastic commitment to improving his performance by joining Stockwood Park Rugby Club and has represented them numerous times throughout the course of the season. We look forward to you continuing your rugby journey throughout your time at Chorley. In Year 8, Ayan from Foss 3. Ayan has continued to demonstrate sporting excellence in PE this year. He is an influential member of the successful Year 8 football team who had another excellent season. He is a leading player in the basketball and rugby teams and has also represented the school at table tennis this year. He is making the most of every opportunity he gets at Chorney and continues to go from strength to strength in sporting performance. He will no doubt continue to develop his performance levels across a range of sports and will be a pivotal member of Chorney sports teams for years to come. In Year 9, Ertiza of Ermin 1. Ertiza was a leading star of the Year 9 badminton team who qualified for the county competition in Bedford this year. Not only was he key in helping the team qualify for the competition, he won all of his individual and double matches, helping the team rank third in the county. He is continuing to develop his gameplay and attends badminton club in school regularly, as well as competing for a local badminton club in Luton. Not only does he compete to an outstanding level, his attitude and sportsmanship are unquestionable. He is gracious in victory, a fantastic teammate and a wonderful Chulney ambassador. From Year 10, Salman of Watlin 1. Salman is captain of the Year 10 rugby team and was a key player in the successful season. He also played a key role in the Year 9 cricket team from last season, winning the league. He also continues to compete in boxing to a high level outside of school. He has extended his passion for boxing into leadership and this year has been running a weekly box fit club in school for the other Year 10 pupils to increase their fitness and lead healthier lives. Salman continues to show the characteristics of a fine Chorney leader and is someone who his peers look up to and aspire to. Using this to focus his peers and engage them in physical activities shows maturity and a commitment to improving the school community. Well done Salman. Thank you, sir. Our next award is the Nadia Hussain Food Technology Award for all you Gordon Ramses out there. For those of you who are aware, Nadia Hussain was an ex Chorney High School for Girls student who went on to win the BBC Great British Bake Off in 2015. The winner for food technology in Key Stage 3 is Faris. Faris worked very well in his food tech lessons and was a competent, talented cook. He was engaged in all lessons, was a pleasure to teach. What makes Faris stand out from other pupils, however, was his empathy. Faris always bought extra ingredients, sharing generously with those who did not have such a wealth to choose from. He is a credit to himself, his family and to Chorney High School for Boys. Well done, Faris. The Pastoral Awards and asked Mr Lawson to announce the winners of Student Leaders and Head of House Awards for Watling House. Thank you again, Hamza. I'd now like to recognise the following students for their outstanding student leadership. In Year 7, Kiwami from Watlin 7. Kiwami has demonstrated all aspects of a five-star Chorley student this year. Over the course of the year, Kiwami has undertaken various leadership roles across the school, including Parents Evening Ambassador and Library Monitor. A fantastic young man with a bright future ahead. In Year 8, Sharajan from Watlin 4. Sharajan has been a fantastic role model to younger students in form time, in lessons and around school. Sharajan has always been keen to help out at parents' evenings, demonstrating his leadership skills when organising younger students. In Year 9, we have Amman from Watlin 6. 
Amon has been fantastic this year and has really stepped up with his leadership responsibilities. Amon has been appointed house captain for Watling and has taken it in his stride, leading on assemblies for the house and he has done a superb job. Amon has also taken on responsibility of the year nine sports captain this year. Well done Amon. From year 10 we have Salman from Watling 1. Salman has been excellent this year, a perfect example of a five star Chawney student. He has taken the role of lead parent evening ambassador for the house, presenting himself as an outstanding Chawney leader. Salman has also taken on the role of house sports captain. He has successfully helped organise the selection of sports teams for all year groups for in-house competitions this year. He has also been very keen to help with other aspects of school life, shown by him taking the lead on the PE Boxing Sports England workshop this year. Well done Salmon and well done gentlemen. I'd now like to recognise the following students for the Head of House Awards this year. In Year 7 we have Tala from Watling 4. Tala has been exemplary throughout this year, picking up 148 achievement points, an outstanding achievement. His engagement during lockdown with schoolwork has been superb. He has recently featured in the, in the Chorney Teaching and Learning newsletter with his work about Marie Curry. A fantastic piece of work, well done. In Year 8 we have Alvin from W8. Alvin is a very polite young gentleman who has been outstanding this year. He has taken on the roles of Form Prefect, Parent Evening Ambassador and is also a teaching partner. He carries out these roles with professionalism. It has been great to see that these roles have really developed Alvin's confidence this year. Alvin has also received over 170 achievement points this year. An extraordinary achievement. Well done. Another student with a bright future ahead of him. I'm really looking forward to watching Alvin develop as a person in the coming years. In year nine, we have Nabil from W5. Nabil has really stepped up this year and is one of the newly appointed Watling House captains. He is a fantastic role model for younger students, organising and leading assemblies each week. Nabil has achieved all of this after overcoming a broken leg in November. Amazing Nabil, well done. An excellent five-star Chorney student with a big future ahead of him. In year 10, we have Shoud from W7. Shoud has been an integral part of both Watling House as well as the student executive body this year. He has led house assemblies with confidence and is a fantastic role model for younger students. Shoud exemplifies the five-star Chorney ambassador in the way he presents himself to others. A student with a bright future ahead of him. Well done, Shoud. Turning back to subject-based awards, the Martin Luther King Award is the Religious Studies Award for students who have excelled in their lessons this year. Okay, so moving on to Religious Studies and the Martin Luther King Award for two students that have excelled in Religious Studies this year. So starting off with Kisa Ishwi, um, we have Tala from Year 7, W4. Tala has worked extremely hard and has produced some great work this year. He's a real role model to his peers and has been an absolute delight to teach. I have been particularly impressed with the high standards of work he has continued to produce during his home learning. And second, if Kisa H4, in Year 10, we have Yusuf from W6. Yusuf works extremely hard also and has produced some fantastic work this year. He's polite, delight to teach and we were particularly impressed with the standard of his work that has continued to produce through Google Classroom. Next we return to the Mary Curie Awards which recognises the students based on their scientific knowledge and their tremendous attitude to learning and science lessons. Thank you very much Hamza. Unfortunately Mr Latif couldn't be here with us tonight so on his behalf and the science department I'd like to congratulate Ryan. Ryan has consistently been an outstanding student since the lockdown. Ryan has completed all work that has been set. He has not hesitated to ask questions about the work and has listened to teacher suggestions. Ryan has been very creative with his science projects. For the Key Stage 4 award, we'd like to congratulate Hakeem. Hakeem came to Chorney Boys partway through the year, having arrived with his family from Italy. Since his arrival in science, he has consistently been one of the most mature, considerate young men in the room, making unwavering effort, not only in his own work, but also in supporting the education of his peers. Hakeem has demonstrated the true value of a Tawny gentleman this year. Our final subject award is for graphics, and I would like to call Mr. Ali, head of graphics, to call his winners out. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to uh, announce my ACE Awards for graphics this year for um, Key Stage 4 
Uh, my nomination is Hasnat in Ermin 4 for continually producing graphics that is unique, creative and technically advanced. And for Key Stage 3, it gives me great pleasure to award Hasnain in Watley 2. He's always going above and beyond, both in quality and quantity of the exciting graphics that he produces. Thank you. Our final award of the ceremony is possibly our most prestigious of them all, as they have been decided by none other than Mr. Connor. The Head Teacher's Accommodation is our highest award here at Chorney High School for Boys and is only given for very specific, outstanding commitments to school life. Before we pass on to Sir, I would like to congratulate all of this year's winners. You're all wonderful students and great role models for every other student around you. You paved the way for others to follow. You're all future executives in the making. It has been an absolute honour. Thank you Sir for asking us to present this year's ACE Awards. We will never forget this experience. So, it is our final pleasure for this evening to invite Mr. Connor to announce his winners for the Head Teacher's Commendations and then offer his closing remarks to conclude this evening's presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, our Head Teacher, Mr. Connor. Thank you, Hamza. So now we come to the part of the evening where we're going to present the Head Teacher's Awards, the most prestigious awards of the evening. And it is my great pleasure to announce that the winner of the Head Teachers Award for Ackerman House is Zaim. Now Zaim is a true five-star Chorney student. He has been involved in pretty much every project the school has run this year and has been at the forefront of many of them. For a Year 7 student, he has shown the massive potential he has. With the confidence Zaim has and his fantastic personality, he could be the youngest student executive we have ever had the way things are going. Zaim was an instrumental figure in the helipad appeal, the wrap-up Luton winter coat appeal and the Jolly Jumper Day, raising over a thousand pounds for charity. As well as this, he has shown great leadership in mentoring other students in the year and his bubbly and fun character is always welcoming to see. A truly fantastic student. Congratulations and well done, Zaim. We're now moving on to the Head Teacher's Award for Ermin House and I am delighted to say that the winner of the Head Teacher's Award for Ermin House this year is Ryan. Ryan has been an absolute credit to Ermin House throughout his time at Chorney Boys. He has shown how hard work pays off. Ryan has been invaluable support to Mr Shafi in helping make sure assemblies have run smoothly by both leading and supporting as others have led. Within his role in the student executive, Ryan has been a driving force in supporting a number of charities on behalf of the House, including the Level Trust Charity Collection. Overall, Ryan has been a role model to students in Ermin House and across the school. A true Chorney gentleman. Congratulations and well done, Ryan. I'm going to move on now to the Head Teacher's Award for Foss House. And again, I'm delighted to say that the award this year for Foss House goes to Mahiban. Now, Mahiban has been an integral part, both of Foss House as well as of the student executive body. He has developed into a role model to lots and lots of younger students in school and within the house. Mahiban consistently demonstrates an outstanding attitude towards his learning and outstanding effort levels in all of his lessons. And as a result of that, he's making terrific progress. Richly deserved, deserve Mahiban. Well done and congratulations. And now I will announce the winner of the Head Teachers Award for Watling House. And I'm delighted to say that the winner for Watling House this year is Hamza. Congratulations, Hamza. Hamza exemplifies the five-star Chorney student. He has taken his head boy role extremely seriously this year and has carried it out with real impact. And he has been excellent in leading Watling House assemblies. Younger students really look up to Hamza 
and he should be proud of everything he has achieved so far at Chorney High School for Boys. He acts as a perfect role model for younger students around the school, in the corridors, in the playground and within lessons. Hamza has an extremely bright future ahead of him. Hamza, once again, congratulations and well done. I'd like to conclude this evening with some closing remarks. Well, what a year it has been. It seems such a long time now since March the 23rd when lockdown was imposed and so much has happened since then. Of course, so much hasn't happened as well, such as regular schooling on site and year 11 exams. Back in September, when we were all planning how best to support you all through your learning this year, we could not have predicted this turn of events in our wildest imaginations. But I want to thank you for your very mature and sensible behaviour during those difficult days in March when it became clear that the country was being gripped by the pandemic and that there were going to be enormous consequences for all of us. And I hope that during that time you found the reassurance and the guidance from the school helpful to you. I also want to say a massive well done for staying focused on your education journey as represented by these awards today. Recent events have not changed in any way at all the fact that you have a bright and glittering future ahead of you with untold opportunity when you understand that your potential is limitless and that you are capable of achieving more than you could ever dream or imagine. And it is with that belief that I urge you to prepare for that future by continuing to read around your subjects and by reading for pleasure and by remaining the five-star Chorney learners that have been recognised in this ceremony. Your experience this year has been unique in the history of this school. You will forever be the Covid generation and that's really quite special. The experience will have made you more resilient and more independent and you should view it positively, recognising the strengths it has given you to face the future at school and through life with ambition and with optimism. We are proud to have you as Chorney students and I hope that you continue to build the memories that will stay with you fondly for the rest of your lives. I hope that the values we try to share with you Values of kindness, compassion, empathy, hard work and respect will also stay with you forever. Remember, once a Chorney gentleman, always a Chorney gentleman. So thank you for being great five-star Chorney students. And finally, I would like to thank our guest speaker, Mr Shahid Nawaz for your truly inspirational words today, Mr Nawaz. What a positive and impressive role model for our students you are, sir. I would also like to thank our head boy and deputy head boy, Hamza and Shaud. Of course, we have two deputy head boys, so I'd also like to say an enormous thank you to Ahmed, who's also given us great support for this event. Thank you. You have done a tremendous job today showcasing the five-star Chorney leader at his absolute best. I'm sure you can all imagine how much technical work has gone into this ceremony, all down to our very new and very capable technician, Mr. Rees. Welcome, Mr. Rees. Well done and thank you. I'm sure you can also all imagine all the organisational work that has gone into making this virtual ceremony possible. And I want to especially thank Mr Church, Mr Palmer and all the admin and support staff for their tremendous effort. Thank you too to your parents, especially for supporting your learning so effectively during lockdown. And as we come towards the end of a quite momentous year, Thank you to all the teaching and support staff of the school who have worked tirelessly to support, to support you all, both before the lockdown and since. 
And finally, finally, and I have been really looking forward to saying this, I'll see you all in September.